Hey everyone, today let's talk about those light meter apps you can download for your phone. There's those of us who want to measure the amount of light in an area, but we don't want to have to buy a dedicated tool that'll cost money and take up space. So, enter the light meter app you can download for your smartphone. These apps use your phone's cameras to measure the amount of light. But the question is, do they work, and how precise are they? That's what I'll be putting to the test, and I'll be comparing it to my digital lux meter here, which I know is accurate and is actually my go-to tool for measuring light. So the first thing to see is whether the app is measuring anything at all. So I turned off the lights so the only source of light coming in should be from the window, and it's a pretty overcast day. At any given area in this room, there should be a very low but detectable amount of light. Let's use the digital lux meter to see just how much light is reflecting off this turned off lantern right now. So as you can see, right now that off lantern is reflecting about 11 lux, which is pretty dim. So let's see if the app can pick it up. First we'll start off using the rear camera and see if it'll pick up anything coming off of that off lantern. Okay. So it's picking up about about as much as you would expect. Now let's see if it's still accurate when I turn the lantern on. Okay, with the lantern on, it is now giving off about it is now giving off about 277 lux. Let's see if the app will pick that up. So it looks like, again, the app is picking it up, but it's giving a reading that's a little bit lower than the actual amount. So now I went ahead and turned the lights back on, and first let's see what the uh, digital lux meter says about how bright this room is. Okay, so about 150 lux is the average. Let's see if the app can see it. For this one, I'm going to use the front-facing camera because it's going to be awkward to point the back camera towards the light source because I won't be able to see it. So let's see what the app says. So it looks like this time the app is jumping all over the place, but, oh, an ad. It is definitely picking up the difference, but I wouldn't say the numbers are that accurate. It is giving you like an estimate of the change in brightness, but you have to point it really carefully, and if you get it away from the light source, you might lose your reading, and that's an issue. I also want to know whether the app works for huge amounts of light, like natural daylight and natural sunlight, so first I'm going to measure some natural daylight using the Lux meter and see if the app can match that. So natural daylight has about 7,270 7, Lux, which is a lot more than the indoor lighting as you know. Now let's see what the app says. Okay, it looks like the app is averaging. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's showing up on the screen, but the app is averaging 446 lux, which is definitely less than what this really is. Daylight is not 400 something lux. The app didn't do so well with daylight, but let's see if it'll do better with direct sunlight. Right now it's the evening, so the sun's not... Direct sunlight isn't going to be as bright as it usually would be, but it's still going to be pretty bright. Like, definitely more than 10,000 lux. So yeah, about 80,000 lux right now. Let's see if the app can pick that up. Uh, 
don't know if you can see what it says, but the but right now it says it's about 696 lux, which is definitely not right. It's def direct sunlight is definitely not 696 lux only. So since natural daylight and direct sunlight are really bright, it's probably unreasonable to ask a smartphone app to be able to pick that up. But at the same time, I want to be able to measure something more than, you know, the average indoor lighting situation. So let's see if it'll pick up the light from this work light. Right now, there is a 1500 lumen LED bulb inside that work light. And let's see what the light meter tells us. First, I'll use the digital lux meter to get an accurate reading. So at one foot away from this light, we have about 6,000 lux, which is about right. Now let's see if the app can pick that up. So that's definitely not 259 lux. So the app is not able to pick it up because it's too bright. I guess in the end, even though it'd be really nice to have an app that could do everything an actual lux meter does, the phone just doesn't have the hardware to do it. It can give rough estimates as to how bright a room is, but it can't handle anything more than simple indoor lighting. If you're looking for accurate and precise measurements of lighting in an area, there's just no avoiding buying an actual dedicated lux meter. Kind of a shame since it would have been really nice to be able to accurately measure light with just a phone. But yeah. Anyway, I hope the video was helpful. Like and comment if you enjoyed, and check out my channel or subscribe if lighting's your thing. Thanks for watching.